The famous American psychologist, Dr. Rick Hansen says, the brain is like Velcro for negative experiences, but Teflon for positive ones. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about helping you, yes you, improve your mental health. So no, I'm not a drama channel, I'm not here to spill any tea or anything like that, but what I like to do is pull from different things happening in the YouTube community or pop culture to try to teach you, yeah you, how to improve your mental health. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So I wanted to make a video about Shane Dawson. Those of you who've been around a little while, you're like, oh, big surprise, Chris. You keep making videos about Shane. So this is great. All right, I'm gonna tell you a little story real quick. I was actually talking with my girlfriend. I was like, yo, I'm gonna take a nap before my class, and but I can't get this, this video idea out of my head. And she's like, is it a Shane Dawson video or a different one? And I'm like, it's a Shane Dawson one. And then I was gonna do a different video, but I was like, you know what, no. There's some valuable lessons people can learn from this Shane Dawson one and I guarantee you're gonna love it. So Tristan, when you watch it, leave a comment down below and let me know if you love this video, all right? But anyways, so um, I'm in a little group chat with my beautiful girlfriend and her amazing best friend, Shelby, and we talk about, uh, you know, the Shane Dawson series that keep me up to date all, on all of the uh, beauty guru tea and stuff like that. But anyways, we were talking this morning and my girlfriend was showing me some of these tweets from Shane Dawson. So this first one is from Miss Selena Gomez herself. Isn't that cool, Selena Gomez watching Shane Dawson? She says, I'm kind of disappointed in at Shane Dawson accusing Jake's parents for his behavior. Yes, parents influence you, but he can make his own choices. Shane replies, I didn't accuse anyone of anything, I observed, and yes, your childhood creates who you grow up to be, good or bad, me included. Boom! Thank you, Shane, because you just dropped some knowledge on Selena. And by the way, I know you might feel like that's contradictory to what I said the other day or yesterday in my video, but no. Your experiences as a child and the way you were raised, whether it's your parents or your caregiver, whoever it is, that molds who you are. Like the more I learn about psychology and mental health and brain development, I see that nurture overpowers nature. So Shane, one point for you. All right, this next one, this is great. All right, so this guy says, Hey, at Shane Dawson, I'm making an eight part series that villainizes mental disorders. I've even hired a $10 an hour editor to make it more like reality, reality TV. How about an interview? Shane replies, from looking at your pics, it looks like you edit your own stuff too and know how hard it is to make something. I think it's pretty shitty for you to make fun of it knowing how much working editing a video takes. Dang. Oh, I love it, I love it so much. So, for those of you who don't know, and I don't think many of you know this, but I'm a huge fan of Chris Delia, he's a comedian, and he puts haters on blast all the time, and like, it inspires me. I love it, like, a lot of these people don't think that you're gonna reply, and this guy was like, oops, like he didn't realize Shane Dawson was gonna reply to him. Um, but yeah, so, after, after seeing this, um, I, I went to go check in. I was like, what else am I missing from Shane's tweets? And his last tweet said, taking a break from Twitter for a while. I'll let you guys know when the videos go up and when they are planned to go up. But besides that, I'm stepping away and I'm gonna focus on making them. Part four on Wednesday and part four on, or on part five on Friday. Heart. So uh, I wanna talk about this. So man, First, let's let's talk about some positive stuff, okay? Shane's not gonna see this video because even when you tweet it at him, he's not there to see it. But let's talk about the positives real quick, all right? Like Shane, Shane knew going into this that he's pushing boundaries, right? He's he's purposely interviewing like a controversial person. Like Tana, it was different because Tana's a friend of his, but Jake, he knew, he knew going into this that he was gonna be, you know, going into this and it was probably gonna screw him up, learning all this stuff, and and he, he knew he was gonna get some backlash. He talked about how a bunch of people were gonna do this, but like, it's great to see that he's challenging himself. So all of you out there, especially anybody out there who deals with anxiety, this is what, what helps build mental resilience, okay? The more you kind of push yourself and get yourself into uncomfortable situations, your anxiety decreases because what you're doing is training your brain to deal with higher amounts of stress. So I, I commend Shane for that. I also commend Shane for bringing mental health to the forefront. Like, 
whether he intended on it or not, like this topic of mental health is popping right now. People are asking questions. I've mentioned this in other videos. Like I've gotten like almost 5,000 subscribers in the last week or so, like, and I'm a mental health channel. Like people are coming here to learn about mental health and different illnesses and decreasing the stigma, increasing awareness. Like that is amazing. That is amazing that Shane did this, whether it was intentional or not. And he brought Katie Morton on, who is a, a licensed therapist who has awesome content on her channel that educates people. I talked about that a bit. I even go there and kind of learn about certain disorders. So that's awesome. But what we're seeing is, is that Shane's having a hard time dealing with all the criticisms. And I mentioned this in my video yesterday, like he's not gonna be able to please everybody with this. So now let's talk about these negative thoughts and these negative experiences and everything. So a few weeks ago, I had the honor, the privilege of going to speak to high school students about coming of age experiences and mental health and life and all that stuff. And my, my friend who invited me, who's a teacher, the kids actually wrote me thank you notes and it was awesome and amazing and made my day. And I was gonna do a whole video on it, but I just wanna grab this one real quick. So this is my message to you and Shane if he ever sees this. And But here's one of the thank you notes, all right? Dear Mr. Chris Boutet, thank you for coming and speaking to my class on Wednesday. It was nice to meet you and be able to hear about your life and how you overcame many challenges. Something I will remember from what you said is how we need to learn how to stop caring about what others think of us. That is one of the biggest struggles in my life. I've always been compared to others and judged by people I should be getting love from. So when you said that it is meaningful for me to hear someone know how I feel. I went home and watched a couple of your videos. I really like your channel and keep watching it for more content. Thank you again. Yes, 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 yes. Like the main thing, the main thing, like when the kids would ask me like, what's the one piece of advice? Like I did like, I think four different classes on two different days. I said, the main thing, if you forget everything I say today, it's this, quit caring so much what people think of you, okay? So I talked about this a little yesterday in the Shane video, but the people pleasing, like I get it, I get it, I've been there, and I know it's easier said than done, but I, I really hope that Shane overcomes this, and like, I think this is good, and he's able to see that he's not gonna be able to please everyone, and it gives him a little bit more, like, screw it attitude, like moving forward, but this is something I wanna teach all of you. I, I have a video I will link up in the info card about, like, tuning out the noise, we value other people's opinions more than our own, and it absolutely kills us. Now, going back to the intro of this video where I talked about um, Dr. Rick Hansen and how the, vel uh, the brain is like Velcro for negative experiences, but Teflon for positive ones, the positive ones just slide off. Well, there's something in the brain that psychologists have discovered, the way our brain acts, which is called negative bias, okay? So our brains are more likely to focus on the negative than the positive, all right? Why is that, you ask? Why is it that we are such an evolved life form? We are at the top of this food chain. Why do we have a brain that chooses to focus on the negative? Why do we have a brain that doesn't do what I say at the beginning of every video, which is we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution? Why does our brain wanna focus on the problem? The simple answer is for our survival. The problem is, is that our brain evolutionarily has not progress to where we are today. Your brain had to log in all these different things to make sure that you did not die. The problem is, is that your brain is holding on to all these negative things. And a lot of that is what people think of you and all of that. So we need to first acknowledge it, then we need to work on it. And what Shane's dealing with right now is something that I, I struggle with. And my beautiful girlfriend is someone who keeps me in check all the time. Like she'll tell me like over this weekend when I was uh, getting a lot of traction from a few of my videos, like. I was just reading them and I was getting angry at comments and stuff like that. And she's like, read some of the positive ones, read some of the positive ones. Or she'll tell me to save the positive ones. And I try to post them over on my Instagram and things. And like, I try to save them. Like I have these beautiful little thank you notes. I have to, so that's step one. Like for any of you out there, this is something that we talk about if any of you struggle with imposter syndrome, like document the good stuff, document it as a reminder, have it somewhere handy. Also, 
Part two, part two of this thing. Keep people in your life who remind you about this stuff. Like some people, <laughs> I was like worried I was gonna lose some, uh, some subscribers yesterday because I kind of went hard on Shane by saying he needs some new friends. But this is directed at all of you. Keep people around who help you focus on the positive. Like that's what I love about my girlfriend and my other friends. They help me hone in on the positive when my brain wants to stick on to negative experiences like Velcro, all right? The next thing, the last thing that I will tell you to do, okay? If you don't have a notebook, go out and buy a notebook for a dollar or get an app on your phone for free to keep notes and make a graph attitude list every single day. See, the problem is, is that our brains are wired, okay, for the negative, okay? There's a reason why my channel is called The Rewired Soul. We can actually rewire our brains. And it's scientifically proven that by keeping a list of five to 10 things a day that you are grateful for, you will start to rewire that negative bias in your brain. Now, that's not gonna mean that you're in danger and you never spot problems, but it will help to let go of those thoughts. Because when you focus on gratitude, your brain focuses on what you train it to focus on. I'm going to link another video in the info card about Jack Septicai, where I discuss a psychological experiment that they did where they discovered that the brain focuses on whatever you, yes you, train it to focus on, all right? So in this in this rough patch for Shane, like <laughs> he still has to go through like what, five more episodes of all this criticisms and everything like that, like, it's gonna be it's gonna be a rough ride. So hopefully he develops some tools that he can use to start combating that negative bias. All right. But this is a video for all of you. If any of you have negative thoughts, I've had people ask me about rumination and things like that. You counterbalance the negative with the positive. Things that you're grateful for are very simple, all right? If you're watching this, you have a phone or you have a computer. And if you have that, then you have electricity. If you have that, you probably also have an internet connection. These are three easy things that I just spitballed off the top of my head, all right? If you're eating something while you're watching this, you have food, okay? So keep it simple, all right? But just go out and get a notebook or document in your phone, all right? I really hope this video helped any of you out there who struggle like Shane is right now, where he focuses on the negative, okay? Like, think about Shane. If you're watching this video and you came here because of Shane, you love Shane, but it's easy for him to forget that when he's seeing the negative, all right? So how can you relate to that, and how can you flip that and learn to improve your mental health? Okay, but let's do this down in the comments below. I don't want to hear about the problem I want to hear about the solution down in the comments below Let me know what you do or you're going to do to combat negative thoughts. All right I can't wait to see what you say down in the comments. Wait, 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 wait Last minute update. <laughs> I just went to go start editing my video And I was trying to pull some screenshots to put on my computer because it was on my phone And Shane is now back on tw Twitter with this tweet. You know what? Fuck it for part four, I'm going full T. No censoring, no holding back, no worrying about pissed off people texting me. You guys want a tea? And I'm gonna bring the whole damn kettle. Grab onto your fucking mops. Snaps. Uh, <laughs> anyways, everything I said in this video still stands, but <laughs> I don't know, if you want me to make another video about uh, how to deal with this stuff without um, seeking revenge or getting angry, let me know down in the comments. But the one thing I will add real quick is that Shane is starting to see that he can't please everybody. And I've been through this experience where you just, you, you just eventually snap. Like you're so done with trying to please everybody that you're just like, screw everybody. And that's a whole thing about managing your emotions and all that kind of stuff. But let me know if you want me to make a video on it. But anyways, that's all I got for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental health. Make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to get some Rewired Soul merch, click or tap right there. And look, there's an awesome picture my girlfriend made of her cat as a little Buddha. Get that shirt or on a coffee mug. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.